Alright guys, today we'll be checking out iOS 14.2 on the iPhone 11. So the first change in this update that you will see is inside control center. And if you have nothing playing, if we go inside music controls, you will see here the list of your recently played media. And also the source of where it was last played. In our case, we do have here the Apple Music icon. And if we try to go ahead and tap one of the available recently played content, the controls will automatically adapt depending on the controls available for that app. Also, if we tap here the AirPlay button, as you can see, we would now get the music controls still available here on the top. So we are free to switch between audio devices and also control our music at the same time. So right now, I do have my song playing and my AirPods. I could switch to iPhone. And if I want to go back and pause the song, I would be able to do so. However, on the lock screen, when you tap the AirPlay button, you would be only given the option to switch between audio output devices. Also, another change right here is inside the settings application. So if you go inside settings, and if you scroll down to control center, and if you scroll down again, you would see here a new option for music recognition. And if we add that, that would automatically show in the control center. And the nice thing about this thing is that it allows you to detect music both playing within your device and around you. So right now, as you can see, I have a song playing here and it's even playing on my AirPods. So if I toggle that, that would automatically start detecting the music that is playing. So right now, as you can see, it detected the song that I was playing. And you could also interact with the pop-up that shows up showing the result. Also, as mentioned earlier, it is also able to detect music that is playing around you. So if we toggle that, and as you can see, I have a song playing on my Mac. And after a few seconds, it would be able to detect that. Also, since we do have instant switching available, so if your iPhone detects that you have something connected, it will already prompt you the same recently played content similar to the one that we get on Control Center, which you could also go ahead and just tap one of the available content to play. Also, with this update, we do get new emojis. So here are some of the available new emojis in iOS 14.2. And also, Apple did a sneaky change in updating their mask emoji. So the mask emoji right now is smiling. And also, for you bubble tea or milk tea lovers out there, the emoji for your cravings is now available. So you can use that to send to your friends or whatever you want to do with it. Also, one sneaky change that Apple did is that they removed the haptic feedback on the music controls so you no longer get a slight vibration when tapping pause play previous or whatever controls available right here also with this update we do get support for intercom this works by having a homepod running homepod os 14.2 which you could directly access using the home app the last change that we have is inside settings so if we open the settings app and if we scroll down to wallpaper settings Choose a new wallpaper, go to still images. If we scroll down, you would see here a new set of wallpapers available for the iPhone 11. The nice thing about these wallpapers is that they're the same ones that you get on the Mac. That means these wallpapers will adapt depending on the appearance that you have set on your device, giving you both a day view and a night view of that wallpaper. So, with that being said, let's check out the night view of this wallpaper in dark mode. And as you can see, here we have the wallpaper on dark mode, showing us a nice night view with the stars right here on the top. Alright, going back again, here we have the day view. Moving on to the next wallpaper, here we have a tree. And here we have it on dark mode showing us the night view and you could also see here the stars again and here we have some rock formations and here is how it looks like on daytime 
and the next one right here and we also get illustrated wallpapers such as this so let's check out the first one So we got this nice view. Whoops. Actually switch from night shift. Here we go on dark mode. And checking out the last one, which is a shoreline. And here we have the day view. So those are the new wallpapers in iOS 14.2, which I think is nice if you're someone like me who has their appearance to change automatically according to the time of the day. Also, checking back on dynamic and live wallpapers. On dynamic, we don't get any new wallpapers. And same goes for live. There aren't any new wallpapers. So those are the changes in iOS 14.2 on the iPhone 11. How about you guys? Which update did you like the most? Let us know in the comment box below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.